So a few cyclists decide to take a nice long stroll on this beautiful winding road. Look how beautiful the scenery is. So all is good until all of a sudden an ostrich starts chasing the cyclists. It's amazing how fast these things are. Check it out. There are very few creatures walking this earth that I despise more than a doggone tick. Man, I hate these blood-sucking pests. I wish I could do a Thanos snap and get rid of all of them. Or better yet, how about a flamethrower? Most of us don't have Thanos' glove nor a flamethrower, so the next best thing is something you probably never thought of. How about a syringe and some hydrogen peroxide? How many of y'all thought the thumbnail on this video was clickbait? Nah fam, it's absolutely real. So this chimp escaped from a zoo in Japan and climbed an electricity pole. Cha-Cha, which is the name of the 24-year-old chimpanzee, somehow avoided being barbecued and was eventually tranquilized and taken back to the zoo. Here's an encounter with a very vocal lion who, if it were me, I would not be screwing with. But maybe that's just me. So look at this. The lion is behind a cage, and at some point we get to see the lion's insane athletic ability when it leaps into the air for some food. Go. Go. Like, I didn't even know a male lion could jump like that. Incredible. Look at this. You're kidding me. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. No way. He's going to fall. Man, oh man, check out this black bear. So there is uh, some beaver meat on this thin rope, and it is most certainly determined to go get it. Let's be honest. Gotta be impressed when it comes to how long the bear held on to this rope before it finally fell. Holy moly. <laughs> I can't believe it. If I didn't see it, I wouldn't believe it. Look at this. You're kidding me. <laughs> there he goes. Oh! <laughs> Look, you know you are rich when you can have a huge tiger like this 
just walking around your home. The tiger's pretty thirsty on top of that, and this probably very rich guy who I'm guessing is the owner decides to be a little playful with the distracted apex predator. How did this happen folks? I can never get closer than a few feet away from a squirrel before they bolt for the nearest tree. This one actually jumped on the UPS driver which is something I've never ever seen before. Here is something you have definitely never seen. So this turtle is called a terrapin and it is attracted to the blood on the lions and just check out how these little creatures come in with no fear or hesitation. The terrapin never even gives a second thought to the fact that it could easily be a snack for one of these lions. Talk about having some big cojones. It's crazy because it's like the lions don't know what in the heck to make of this thing and what the heck to do with the turtle. I would imagine this has to be a once in a lifetime shot, right? So like, not one, not two, not three, but four mountain lions on the porch of this Colorado home. Like, I don't think you understand how rare this is to get this type of footage on camera. Probably never happened. The cougars hang out for a while on the porch, and I think they eventually can instinctively feel that they're being watched, so they bounce. But how beautiful and frightening at the same damn time. This beautiful great horned owl is chilling in this nest. This is a male owl and night comes and the owl leaves. A hungry raccoon gets up there to get an easy meal but gets a bit more than it bargained for of course because the owl is watching the whole time and makes it known that the raccoon is not welcome. Looking around for an exit strategy here. And this owl comes in and hits him hard, and I suspect that this raccoon is gone for good this time. This time. Holy moly, ever seen an anaconda with any allies or friends? Neither have I. Check out this sloth as it slowly trots over and past this huge serpent. According to the video, they are actually friends, folks. Like, who would have ever thunk it? Like I was just waiting for this snake to devour this poor sloth and was shocked when it didn't happen. Like if I composed a list of animals to avoid in the wild, a gorilla would be close to the top of the list. They are smart and can be gentle, but boy oh boy they have short tempers. As this guy almost found out the hard way. Check it out. Charged again. And I think, and I'm sure, if I would have even flinched once and would have dropped the camera or would have run or turned around, Adrian would have said, well, this is obviously not the right man to make this film. The gorilla did a bluff charge 
and was one step away from knocking this guy into next week. Casimir came and screamed and, and just charged Adrian. And Adrian literally had no other chance than to drop the baby gorilla because if he would have kept it, we all convinced that Casimir would have killed him. <laughs> oh shit, Rod. This is just way too close for comfort with these humongous and very strong animals. There is no scenario where I would be this close to a wild bison. They would probably be ready to tear my black ass up. Like how in the hell can these bikers be so relaxed? Hell to the gnaw. Like I always tell y'all, when I find something I've never seen before, even if it seems like a small thing, I'm going to show it to you. Um, I've never seen anything like this, like a crocodile, especially a big one like this, climbing up anything. I mean, let alone like a bank uh, that th that's this steep trying to get back into the lake. I mean, look at this thing. It's all clumsy and kind of slow, but you know, it got the job done. I mean, this thing is a monster and it took him a minute, but he got there. Oddly entertaining to watch something like this. I just, I don't know. Uh, when have you in your life heard a cat sound like this? This is Jack. Whoa. <laughs> what did you say, nigga? Uh oh. His voice is a little deeper than most cats. Uh. Hey, buddy. I had to watch this several times to figure out if it was real or not. But indeed it is. This is like the very white version of Cats, and it has a ridiculously deep voice. Like, if I ran into a cat like this, and didn't know anything about it, and that sound came out of it, I would run to the hills because I'd be thinking it's possessed or something. Watch out! Polar bears are no joke and are the tallest of all bears and they are scary looking. Whoever this polar bear is chasing nearly found this out the hard way. My question is this, you've got all this open area, like how the hell do you even get this close to this majestic creature? Like I just don't get it. I've told you guys ad nauseum at how big and dangerous that moose are. Here's a good representation of at least the size part of that. This female moose, however, is very tame, and I don't know if her humongous self is used to being around humans or what, but she seems to be so sweet. I would be terrified as heck though. We're trying to steal the kill from this lion. <laughs> this 
huge but likely young male lion is trying to enjoy its meal, but unfortunately it's not the only one that's hungry. Check out these hyenas who are definitely formidable hunters in their own right. Hyenas have almost double the bite force of a lion. A lot of people don't understand how deadly they can be. There are a bunch of them and they gang up on this lion and the lion figures out that eh, it has no shot as it tries to engage with these hyenas. There are just too many of them. This is also the last time we saw this young male lion for fairly obvious reasons. And the hyenas just devoured that carcass from there on. A frighteningly close encounter in northwestern Alberta. A man out for an evening jog found himself face to face with two cougars on a remote trail about 100 kilometers southeast of Grand Prairie. And he got it on video. Amanda Anderson has the story. Okay, so just saw two cougars up here. Folks, you can't make this stuff up. So this jogger was running by and actually spotted two mountain lions. He just kind of admired them and kept going about his business, but then he heard something running up on him from behind. Luckily, he had his bear spray, and this stopped a potential attack. Ah! Ah! Get out of here! It went from like being ecstatic to seeing them to being like really scared. Just saw two cougars up here. Dr. Mark Boyce, an ecology professor at the U of A, says this kind of run-in is rare. It's surprising in view of the fact that we've got thousands of, of cougars and uh, the number of, of human contacts with, with uh, cougars is, is very, very few. According to this expert, runners are at a higher risk. Just because they're, they're running and uh, if the cougar sees one run by, it, it uh, will sometimes chase after. Still my guess is that the prey drive like was triggered when you know the cat saw the man running by luckily he must have not been listening to music like i would have because my black ass would have been dead but that probably saved his life thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe for the best animal commentary out there i am curtis okay see you next time do good do great and they talk bad on you no need no face because they're not factual no, no, no. I won't stay too long here, I'm just passing through. I might hit the bank and get a bag or two. My mama asked me why you got that cash room. Second you switch up, they might get mad at you.